in 1997, uh, when the Malaysia's economy is uh, facing downturn. Then she decided to cook this herbal tea drink to increase the family income as well as to fund her children's uh, studies. I think that is one of my mom's dream for, for the kids yeah, to pursue their studies in universities. A lot of people didn't know about Sarawak. They thought that we still live up at the tree, you see. One of the aim that we want to make Sarawak known to the world, you see, uh, by producing our own beverage and show to the world that Sarawak pun boleh. Sarawak, home to nearly 2.5 million ethnically and culturally diverse people, is the third largest contributor to Malaysia's economy, thanks to its abundant natural resources and thriving ecosystem. But down on the home front, local businesses have been making their own marks in their community over the years. In this series, we meet some of the most innovative and aspiring Sarawakians today to find out why they do what they do and how they do it. In this week's episode, we trace the story of how a simple drink made its way from a family home to small town coffee shops and finally to supermarkets overseas. Leaf Food Industries, or simply known as Leaves, has a humble beginning. It all started with a housewife who decided to take over her parents' business in the middle of the biggest financial crisis to hit Asia. Madam Cheng Mi Lian, the founder, operated her first business out of her own home, armed with nothing but determination and faith. The CEO today is a son, Alan Chai, who recounts that the business was really born out of his mother's love. The story behind Lee is because of my mother's of her love towards the family and the children. In 1997, uh, when the Malaysia's economy is uh, facing downturn, then she decided to cook this herbal tea drink to increase the family income as well as to fund her children's the studies. Madam Chang was born in Selangor, but moved to Kuching when she was nine where her parents expanded their sundry business. When小时候,我记得那时候我父母亲有一个工厂,小时间工厂,他们是从那个米香啊,做米香开始的。but Madam Chang had a dream. She wanted to see her sons graduate from university. So she reconsidered her father's offer and finally decided to inherit the business to realize her dreams and to lift the burdens off her husband's shoulders. So why is it called leaves? Well, the reason behind the name is a warm-hearted one. It harkens back to the herbal teas Madam Chang used to brew regularly for her boys. Uh, the brand's names from actually is coming from the uh, herbs, the tea leaves. Yeah, we used to have these uh, herbs and tea leaves to make it into the drink. Madam Chang found her greatest cheerleader in her husband, Andy Chai, who had been working in Brunei for the last nine years before moving back home to Kuching to settle down with his family. When his wife approached him with the business idea, he was most supportive. 
I, I said I will, I will still continue at the time. I will say I still continue with my employment, and she started first, you see, uh, just to play safe, <laughs> because we don't know uh, how good is the business, you see. Although I see there is an opportunity, but I'm not, still not very convinced. Not very convinced. Two years later. Mr. Andy Chai decided to quit his job and help his wife, holding on to the faith that the company will blossom one day. After two years, after two years uh, in the business, I said, "Okay, I give myself a try." Then I resigned from the job. Then I join join her. When you are under employment, the salary you earn not really that sufficient, I know. Uh, to cover all the expenses. Uh. The couple purchased a factory at Penrison Road in 2001, where they continued to sell herbal tea in reusable glass bottles. Because people don't know about the brands, and it's hard for us to to sell directly to them. Yeah, we have to do some uh, demo and let them try the drinks yeah, to, in order for us to convince the coffee shop owners. When we started to sell, we didn't have a very popular brand. And there were several companies who told me, why did you choose two? Two is the most slow selling. The first few years, uh, we don't make money. In fact, we lost money. I feel so bad. <laughs> I feel... Uh, uh, almost, I, I wanted to give up, in fact. Their efforts continued for the next four years, extending beyond coffee towns to food fairs and expos. But business did not improve. It was not until a while later when they finally realised where the problem lies. In 1997, Madam Chang, a housewife, started selling herbal drinks from home to gather funds for her children's future. Her husband, Andy Chai, left his job to join her a few years later. Yet, despite the combined efforts of the couple and a newly acquired factory at the Knife Mall, the business was bleeding money. Uh, so uh, almost, I, I wanted to give up, in fact. But then my, my wife keep on insist to, no? Not to give up, no? She said, we, we have to work harder and there is always a way no? to achieve a better target. That time also, we start uh, thinking of uh, the children, education for the children, you see. Uh, it is very crucial to let the children have better education. Their break finally came when they discovered the root of their problem, its packaging. The drinks were bottled in reusable containers which, though good for the environment, came off as cheap and unattractive to customers. The first, uh, our first packaging was in glass bottle. Uh, there's about 500 ml. Then I said, why not we change? Change to PET bottle, there's 1,000, 1,000 ml, one liter type. Uh, that changes really make a lot of difference. Uh, our sales increased to about 55% of like it. Uh, that really made a tremendous changes to ourselves. I, 
I can't understand even until now how that make the big changes. I only can say praise to the Lord. <laughs> Within a span of a few years, they expanded their product range and relocated its facility to Denmark Lao in 2013, where it remains today. Currently, we have been in this uh, factory for 10 years and our workforce, uh, we have uh, around 40 uh, workers with us at this moment. Mr Andy Chai believes that it was God's providence that they managed to secure the lot for the company's new home. Especially to get the OP, the occupation permit, is the last step see, before we can do uh, operations. See. I was... Hmm. Uh, I just, I have only got half a year now before the expiry of the three years term. Okay? So, uh, we submit in all the drawings for approval for the OP. Uh, I was told by the architect concerned that OP will usually take more than six months to get approval. So, I only can, we pray to our God. The approval finally came, a week before the three-year deadline. There is one week just before the three years. Madam Chang finally realized her dream of sending her children for further studies. Ellen Chai, her younger son, graduated from Swinburne University with a business management degree. Yeah, I believe I fulfilled my mom's dream to further my study in a college and then go to universities, graduated uh, as a degree, uh, degree holder. Yeah, I did that. Alan then went to Singapore to work and learn more about managing and running business. But his quest for exposure abroad was cut short when his father asked him to return. Uh, I request him to come back because I said, I need help. I cannot just run uh, the operation by myself, you see, while my missus more on the production side. Okay? So just to us is a uh, lack of manpower. So I said, high time for you to come back. <laughs> Under Ellen's Chai leadership, Lee's production plant in Demang Lawood has been recognized for its commitment to excellent quality standards and practice. It was awarded two of the highest food safety accreditation recognized worldwide, the GMP and the HSCCP. And the first thing I do is to get GMP certifications. Then after that, we proceed, uh, proceed to this HSCCP certifications. And we got it, I think, if not mistaken, it's uh, 2019. Uh,在这个清洁方面是非常重要的。一旦有一个不小心，就会导致产品可能就会啊，这个产品会失败，就导致原因是因为里边啊，整个过程的生产线里面呢有带菌，但是要很注意的地方。对，不但是符合GMP
to a repertoire of beverages of different flavors and occasions. One of which is the popular three-layer milk tea, or also known as Daisy Bang Special. Okay, the story behind the Daisy Special, we we went to a coffee shops and tried this uh, Daisy Bang. The taste is so good, so my mom tests it, and she loved it also. So she decided to do some research and development. So. After a few months research and development, she finally came up with uh, this uh, Desi Special Syrup. Alan Chai says Desi Bang Special is like a multiracial society. Each color represents an ethnic group. Three layer milk tea. From the outlook, you will notice there's a three layer. The top layer is a uh, tea, yeah, Te Gosong. The middle layer is uh, evaporated milk. Then the bottom layer is our syrup, a special formulated syrup. And if let's say, if you drink the tea itself, it tastes bitter. If you drink the milk, only the milk, milk tastes. If you drink the syrup, it tastes too sweet. You cannot consume directly. But if you mix all the layers together, you can. You will love the test. The test will become a perfect test. Yeah, it symbolizes our races, multi races. Like in in Sarawak, we have uh, three big races. If all of us, uh, we just do our own things, we don't uh, we don't mix around. Our society will not become so harmony. Today, their market has expanded overseas to Brunei, Singapore, and Hong Kong. Continuing their mission of promoting Sarawak, one sip at a time. In terms of the packaging for for the canned drinks, uh, we have these uh, iconic buildings, Dune, uh, also Long House, and also one uh, Home View. Uh, all of these symbolize uh, Sarawak. A lot of people didn't know about Sarawak, even uh, ten or twenty years ago. Uh, when we talk about Sarawak in West Malaysia with our friends there, they don't know where is Sarawak. They don't know what is Sarawak. They thought that we still live up at the trees. Uh, that is what is in their mind. No? Uh, that is uh, one of the aim that want to make Sarawak known to the world see? Uh, by producing our own beverage and uh, show to the world that Sarawak wouldn't go there. The founders attribute their business success to their hard work, humility, and God's providence. We just do our own work, with the heart, uh, and really do the best we can to do our best. This is what we can do as a personal thing. And then, to the other people, I think the team is very important. When you have a very strong team, you can move further than the team. You can move further than the team. You work hard in smart way, but another important one is consistency. Yeah, you work hard, work smart, but you don't work consistent, you may fail. Yeah, because good things never come easily. You have to work hard and consistent. Never give up.